do a quick check-in. It's Thursday, but I was just thinking about just myself and my whole fitness journey up to this point and how difficult it has been to just even just like lose a few pounds and how frustrating it's been. And I literally have been trying to get weight off for almost four years of being consistent and having ups and downs with food and emotional stuff, being sad, and I don't know, just a lot of different things going on. And I just wanted to encourage you because I know there's a lot of you that are out there who are watching that might be thinking about starting a fitness journey of their own or might be in the process and you're getting really frustrated and you're just looking for some inspiration and you found me, whatever. But the one thing I do want to say is that you just have to keep going day by day. And my main thing that keeps popping up in my mind of why I need to keep going is that you can't take your health for granted. You just have to be grateful for everything that you have. And my health is the one thing that I don't want to take for granted. You know that that is like the wealthiest thing that you have in your life is your health. If you're thinking that you don't understand why people need to work out that you put in your body is affecting your whole body your whole body your mind your spirit i want to be full of energy want to be able to accomplish a lot of my goals and dreams and i need to be able to do that and i can't do it unless i'm in a really good space mentally and physically if there's one thing that i can just encourage you to do is just don't take life for granted or your health for granted even if you get up and walk like i'm doing right now go for a little walk every single day just to try even for 20 minutes if you can't even do that and you're stuck and you're you know not able to walk or whatever you can find exercise videos to do in a chair start with changing your diet start with dropping processed foods and drinking water that's the easiest thing you can do if you can't get up or it's hard for you or you're very overweight start with that start with your diet that's going to be the hardest thing you got the exercise is going to be the easiest thing that you do but anyways i just want to encourage you that even if you don't see results or you haven't seen results in the past it doesn't mean that it can't happen it just takes consistency it's taken me four years to get to this point from 37 percent body fat to 29 and it's been hard i've given up a couple times but i always start again because i know in the long run it's going to be the best decision. Okay, I'm just doing a hold while I'm waiting. Not in the way. Not in the way. So I am just finishing up with cold plunging. Today, for whatever reason, it was packed. When I got in to use the sauna, I came late. So I decided that I was just going to jump in a hot tub for like five minutes, heat up my body, and then do cold plunge for 11 minutes. I, will, I did 11 minutes today specifically because I'm not going to be at class tomorrow. I'm freezing right now, trying to warm up but I just wanna make sure that I get my time in this week and I'm hoping I can get to the gym today. I don't know how well I'm gonna do that because I have laundry to do and a bunch of other stuff. Before we take it off, I'm heading up to San Jose for my cousin's wedding and then I'm driving back down the same night. So it's gonna be a 12 hour day on Sunday on the road. So I think to make the best of that time, I'm probably going to be well, number one, listening to my normal podcast, and then maybe listening to a couple of books, practicing my French, and yeah, I think that's about it. But my number one concern is figuring out what am I going to eat when I get there, and before I get there and on the way back, if I get hungry. My goal is not to do any fast food at all, even if it's semi-healthy. So I'm going to pack my stuff once I get home. Okay, so good morning. Time now is 6.25. I am already running late to 
to I'm already on my way up to San Jose for my cousin's wedding so I have about six hours and four minutes to get on the road and be on my way it's gonna be a long long drive today and then I'm gonna be going to the wedding staying for a couple hours and then I'm driving back down because I have to go to work tomorrow it's gonna be 12 hours worth of driving I would love 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 to have flown but I should have bought my tickets at least three weeks ago and the price was just too high and I just did the math and I'm like it doesn't make any sense for me to spend like three or four hundred dollars on a plane ticket when I can drive up to San Jose and back for under like 150 bucks so here I am doing my thing so it's gonna be like driving to Yosemite I'm sad I can't stop because I would love to stop at Yosemite today but I'm just gonna be driving through beautiful California Okay, I just made it to my cousin's wedding venue. I am barely here on time, but I just made it. And phones will be off once I get in, but I'll give you guys a view once we're at the reception. Do you want me to hold it? No, no, because this is how vlogging goes. Okay, so we just finished with Josh and Danielle's wedding. It was beautiful. And so right now we're doing cocktail hour, and then after that, I guess we're gonna have a snack. And so here's my sister saying hi. Snack, I like it. So we're gonna go have some snacks and some drinks, and then do a little party. So I just changed in the car. I'm leaving the winery and I'm trying to get out of here without hitting somebody's car. Yeah, it was a fun wedding. They haven't even started the dancing yet. My cousin ballroom, does ballroom dancing and I think he's also like, has won like some championships and stuff. I'm really not sure. So I'm gonna miss all the fun dancing. And I did pretty good with not eating bad stuff. I ended up having beef for dinner. I thought I was having chicken, but having beef. And then I think, and then they had like some like vegetables on the side, but it wasn't anything like bad. And they think they had like, it was like a souffle on the, in it as well. And I didn't eat that because it was like breaded. So I just let that go. I did drink though. I did have a glass of champagne and I also had a mojito. It was that kind of day. So I allowed myself to have those two things that were both sweet. I'm going to be heading out. I won't get home until like one o'clock, according to Google. Hoping I didn't get bit because there was like a ton of mosquitoes outside. So my hope is I can get home safely. And I kind of said all my goodbyes to everybody. I was trying to get out of there by like 6.30, but then my uncle came and he works for the FAA. So I had like a bunch of questions about him, about some of the recent like mishaps of a couple of the planes and so he has some good stories to, to tell me so anyways I am I'm glad to be heading home and it was a beautiful wedding really cool cousin's new wife her family was cool they just one of her like great aunts just started talking to me while we were waiting it was very hot today and we were just out there having just some water they had like waters and refreshments set up before the wedding and she was so nice and they have like this huge family come from chicago which i thought was kind of cool like you meet so it's like our extended new family so their vows were so sweet oh my god you guys they wrote their vows they were very detailed sharing special moments two miles they right to merge onto i 580 okay, towards stockton you. i was just listening to it trying not to get too emotional but it was just really beautiful like the wonderful things they had to say about each other and they had their personal elements in our wedding and it just I don't know, it just kind of makes you, like you don't hear like these love stories like that, like theirs, which was kind of nice. So I don't know, I guess, you know, some people find their people when they're not looking. And so I don't know. I don't know if I have hope for that personally for myself, but I mean, I'm glad that my cousin found somebody that just fits him perfectly. I'm gonna get off so I can focus on my driving, but I have, exactly 434 miles to go and I will be making it back to my home at 115 unless I am flooring it like I was today. I basically was doing 80 the whole way down and I was on time. I got here way early. So anyways, I'll check in with you guys on Monday once I get back home and settle. Time now, 1042. 
and I haven't even hit LA County yet and this is what I'm sitting in about 54 minutes worth of traffic I'm trying to get off the freeway uh, it says I have five more miles to go to try to work my way around it it's in the Tahoon Pass which is really not that many ways to get around it but Google Maps seems to think that I can shoot over to the 101 so we'll see what we come up with Yes, it Okay, so I wanted to do a quick update on how I'm feeling and if I'm seeing results with my body. And actually, this is the first, I'll post a picture right now. This is the first time I can actually notice a physical change with my body and actually have proof that my body fat is going down so the dress that I wore this weekend I've worn it a couple times but it's usually been like kind of snug or I've had to wear like skims underneath it but this time I think it's a 14 but it's super baggy I think I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna show you a picture I think it was from 2021 or 22 maybe 23 that I have and I took it I took my friends on a tour at my job and I remember getting the photo back from them and being like Maybe it wasn't even that. I think it was touring another group and they sent me a photo. And I was like, oh my God, like I look super huge right now, like super huge. And I was like so upset. Like this is like the first weekend when I, I took a couple pictures with people and I was like, okay, like I can see a little bit of definition in my arms and I can see that my waist is a little bit smaller. So I feel really good about that. It just makes me want to keep going. So I went to the gym. I have a meeting tomorrow afternoon, so I'm going to miss my workout. But so I worked out today and I just had the need to like run. I was like, I need to run. I need to do some wind sprints. I need to do something. And I definitely feel lighter. There was a point where I was really uncomfortable with my belly because my belly would run it would just like flop around and it really hurt it's still kind of doing that but it's not as bad so i can tell like i've shrunk in in my belly could still wish i could get rid of it totally but i'm happy with that seeing my photos and comparing the difference from the photo that i took back in 2021 or 22 versus now it's like night and day now is it perfect is it where i want to be no however it's been like four years of really not seeing a whole lot of change. And now I'm finally seeing it. I think a lot of it has to do with changing my diet. Just, I just think that's really what it was. And people are starting to notice. And that's what I haven't really had happening throughout this whole journey. And yeah, like I really shouldn't care if people see or not, but it's also nice that people are recognizing that you're putting the work in. I've been feeling pretty good, but I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like I look any thinner. So the one thing that I can't wait for, my exercise pants, I want them to feel baggy. So I think I have a large in my workout pants. So my hope is I can go back down to a medium and then also like my shirt size, I really want to go back to a medium. I keep thinking like, oh my God, like I really could use new bras. I could really could use new leggings to work out in. Honestly, I could just need a whole new wardrobe. But I keep saying, well, there's no point in buying clothes because you're trying to cut down on your body fat for this coming quarter my goal is to lose another two percent body fat i think i can do it if i stick to really staying clean on my diet i also got excited because i found a bakery and they sell their i think they sell their cupcakes at fraser from maybe trader joe's and they make cupcakes that are non-dairy non-gluten and no sugar and i read on their website like they had some like mixed reviews but and they also have icing so I was thinking that if I'm really going to stick to this no sugar thing that at least that I can bring a treat for my birthday I could celebrate it with a non-gluten non-dairy cake and non-sugar so I'm at some point I think I'm going to get like a sample box and just try it to even see if I like it and if it tastes good to me and also if it all works out then I'm really hoping that could be an alternative like what I want sweets so they do cupcakes and I also do cookies so at least I'm getting like my sweet treat but without all the other crap I'm super happy with how I'm looking I'm feeling a little bit better the one thing that I'm really struggling with now is just sleeping it's just you know I have my own anxiety at nights and stuff but I just I really need to work on the whole sleep element I think if I was able to get seven to eight hours of sleep 
consistently, I would probably be dropping weight a little bit better. I had that happen last time I was trying to lose much weight and my trainer asked me, hey, how is your sleep? Because I was just like, had a huge plateau. Back then I was only sleeping four or five hours a night and then getting up and going to work and working a full day and then coming home and staying up late. I said five or five hours, six tops. And she's like, that's your problem. She's like right there. She goes, if you can at least get seven hours, seven and a half hours of sleep, you're gonna notice a huge difference. And as soon as I dedicated some time to that, then my weight started dropping again. Something else I need to work on. But anyways, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm gonna continue to update you guys on my health and wellness journey. And also along with this whole like wellness journey, a lot of it comes to like how I feel about myself and areas of my life that I'm wanting to work on. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will get a video every Wednesday and I will see you in the next video.